into the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, After Buzzers. My name is Kylie Hodges, and I am so excited to bring you a very special edition of Spotlight On. You might already follow her on Twitter and Instagram, and you could even be doing her 30-day program. I am here with fitness expert Emily Skye. How are Hi, you, Emily? Kylie. It's lovely to be here. I'm excited. Great. It's so good to have you here. You look amazing, by the way. Oh, are you sun-kissed from the beach? <laughs> a little bit of the beach, a little bit of fake tan, because I don't want to spend too much time in sun. It's not good for you. Oh. I mean, it's good for you, but not good for your skin. Very true. Yes. Wow, you're always you're always on with the <laughs> with the tips. Um, you said you were doing a you were doing a photo shoot on the beach earlier today, right? Yeah, not on the beach. I was at a beautiful house. Um, I'm not sure where we were because I don't know the area too well yet. But it was a beautiful house by the pool. So I was doing some workouts there and a and a cover shoot. So for a fitness magazine, but very yeah. exciting. Very Stay exciting. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. I gather you're you're from Australia. Yes. You're like the fitness guru. <laughs> Fill me in on what I've been missing out here in the States? Oh, well, I started um, fitness and health about five years ago. Before that, I did modeling for a number of years, but it wasn't really something that I really enjoyed. It was fun, but it was really focused on looks, obviously, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of pressure that I put on myself to, to be perfect, which is, isn't what I'm about now. So I decided to like make myself a bit happier because I wasn't happy with the way I was and become healthy and fit and that's when I decided to learn as much as I could about health and fitness and I started getting fit and healthy and I was blogging about it and I had a, a blog site and I had a few people following me on there and that's when I decided to create a, a Facebook page and an Instagram and Twitter so that I could put um, free workouts and um and meals and health and fitness tips, all things like that, that like everything that I was doing every day to get to where I am now. And I was just sharing that with everyone and people seemed to like what I was doing. So it just went from there. Wow. Yep. <laughs> so you trans, this wasn't even something you planned out. It just sort of all fell into place. No, huh? I, I had no idea that I'd be doing this, you know, 10, 12 years ago. I, wow. I was sort of searching for something that I felt suited me, something that I was passionate about. I just was so lost. And mm -hmm. when I started becoming fit and healthy, it was amazing. The changes that I had in my life were incredible. I was depressed before. I was extremely insecure with myself. Mm -hmm. And just finding this kind of lifestyle changed so much in me that I wanted to share that with everyone else. And I just thought that everyone else deserves to feel this way. Yeah. And that's when I just decided to go on a mission to share my message to the world. <laughs> That's incredible. It's really inspiring too to see women who like are willing to make the career change and just go on a limb and and, and yes. do what they're passionate about. Yeah, it's, it's, was it scary? Um, not so much scary. If I had have planned planned it, I would have probably been scared. But because I kind of I didn't fall into it. I did a lot of hard work. Don't get me wrong, but because I just loved this kind of lifestyle and I started getting into it and sharing what I was doing, then it became quite easy mm -hmm. for me, easy in a way that I felt so comfortable with it and something that I am so passionate about and I just love. So yeah, it's hard work, but I of love course. it as well. So it's perfect. Uh, what is one thing that this this whole experience of becoming a, a, a social media guru, fitness expert, what's like the one thing that really took you off guard that you never thought you'd get from it? Like maybe someone you never thought you'd get to meet or something you never thought you'd ever get to do? Oh, just being able to get out there and reach so many people. I, I never thought that I would have as many followers as what I've got. It's about 5 million now oh my God. across um, Instagram and Facebook. And it's just, it's wow. a crazy number and it blows me away that people actually like what I'm posting and they actually can relate to me and, and what I'm posting is helping them. And that, that does feel amazing. So that's something that is that I never thought that I'd be able to do. Yeah. So you, so the big thing with you is you have a 28-day 
ab shredding program. You have a couple different I've programs. I've got a few programs, yeah. but I knew ones. So they're my best ones. Okay. They're called the Fit System. It's Fitness Inspiration Transformation. Okay. That's what it stands for. And it's all about um, healthy eating and exercise as well as mind, your mindset. So I go into detail about how to be more positive about yourself and um, stay on track with your goals and stay motivated and dealing with negativity from other people. I just go into all that sort of stuff as well because it's a huge thing. When you're making changes in your life, whether they're physical or mental, or maybe they're with your, your career, it's tough. It's tough to do and you, you do receive a lot of criticisms from other people, maybe in your family or people from outside of your family and it can be really difficult. So I find that if I talk about that with people, it does help them a lot dealing with it and, and staying on track as well because that's a big thing. If they get a lot of negativity, they might get scared and they, they give up. It's just too much for them. But if I sort of keep them on track with motivation every day, then, it, then they'll get there. What is it that made you want to change? Hmm. I mean, I got to say, you were a model. That kind of sounds like living the dream. It's, it's funny. From an outsider, people looking in, they're looking at a, a photo that's it's a snapshot of your life and it's mm. not it looks perfect but it's not who you are it's it's the photos being manipulated you've got makeup on you've got your hair done you've got fake tan not that there's an, there's anything wrong with that but it is it's not realistic for people um, i enjoyed being in front of the camera i liked creating beautiful images but it just it was just so hard i and it, you know what it was from me i put a lot of pressure on myself it wasn't so much other people but you're always comparing yourself to everyone else that you're up against when you go into a casting. There's so many girls, and there's a lot of lovely girls, but there's a lot of bitchiness as well. So oh, it's, sure. it's a bit, <laughs> bit hard to deal with. And and I wasn't happy with my myself, my life. I wasn't confident. I was depressed, and I, I just re was really lost. I didn't know what to do with myself. I thought that I would do nothing for my whole life, and and I realised that it was up to me to make changes. No one else is going to come along and do it for you. You have to take control of your life, work out what it is you want and plan how you're going to get there and stick to it. And it's hard. And I gave up plenty of times with, the, with this even, even like lately when I, I might cop some negativity online or, or something happen and I'll be like, oh, can I do this? And, yeah. and I know I can. Then I pull myself up and I say I can do this because I love what I do. I love reaching out to people and motivating them and sharing what I've learnt through my own journey with them so that they can find what I've found. I've found happiness. I've found health, being healthy. I've found strength, being strong mentally and physically. Everyone else deserves to feel like this and social media has given me that sort of platform to be able to get out there and reach everyone. I feel like this is like an <laughs> Oprah special. <laughs> yes. It's very touching. <laughs> Can you tell me, is there someone that you have particularly admired or seen as a role model on your journey? There's been thousands of people that I have um, come across that have inspired me and motivated me and I've looked up to them. But when it comes to physical, <laughs> Jessica Beale has an incredible body. She's, yeah. she's fit and healthy and she obviously trains hard and there's pictures of her down at the beach. You see in magazines like playing volleyball or running along the beach and she just looks the picture of health and that's what I'm all about. It's about living the, that healthy lifestyle and being strong. It's not about being skinny. What is your favourite <laughs> healthy meal? Healthy meal yeah. would be at the moment. I'm loving salmon and salad. I'm having watercress oh. with um, tomatoes and mushrooms, and then I put olive oil on top and a freshly squeezed lemon over the top. It's really good. It's full of antioxidants and it's anti-inflammatory as well, which is really good. It's anti-aging too. Oh, fantastic! Yes. So if I just rub it all over my face, yeah. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> what you do is you work from the inside out. So oh, the foods that you eat, it transcends it transcends into your outer appearance as well, and your hair, and your nails, and your skin, and your eyes get clearer. Everything. That sounds like yeah. a wonder. A Healthy wonder eating. meal. <laughs> Honestly, I think if you just had a show where you read recipes out loud, people would listen because your accent makes everything oh, sound way more exotic and we, wonderful. We call it bogan in australia oh so, yeah I'm is that to... a bad that's a bad thing right <laughs> or is not, it a good uh, thing it's not so much bad it's just it's a bit different it, it means it, they're talking like the way i'm talking sure <laughs> well come here we like you here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to teach americans what bogan means that's cool well let's get it started right now come on america bogan i still bogan. don't really get what it means <laughs> uh can you tell me your favorite cheat meal do you cheat Yes, I do, but okay. I don't have a set time where I actually cheat. Some people like to have one day a week where they'll pick a meal that they'll eat anything they want, sure. which I do advise people to do because it's good to keep keep track and have a have it all set out and 
for you so that you know like when you're going to have it. But I, if I feel like eating something that's not so healthy, I'll have it, providing that I feel good in myself and I feel like my my body's where I want to be and I feel healthy. I've had stomach dramas for many years and mm. healthy eating's fixed that. I found a way to, to keep all the bloating and inflammation and everything down that I, I was getting for many years. So when I have bad meals, I get all that back. So it's kind of like I've got to make up my mind and decide whether it's going to be worth it or not. But I have to say, if you want to eat something that's unhealthy, go ahead and have it and enjoy it. Don't beat yourself up about it and just get back on track the next meal, the next meal. So I don't go a whole day eating everything. Yeah. But if you do, that's fine. We're all human. It's so much more of a mental thing than it, it is, is anything else. I mean, you know, there's like a donut isn't going to be staring at you and saying, eat me, but you th- think it is sometimes. Yes. Well, How it's crazy a sugar, is that? sugar addic- addiction. It yeah. is an addiction. It makes you want to eat more. So the more you eat sugar and um, really high carby foods, uh, simple carbs, the more you want to eat. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's just an endless cycle. <laughs> oh, I was down that cycle yeah. in college, I remember. Well, I think we've all been there. <laughs> so for someone who is, I bet a lot of your followers are, you know, younger women who are maybe on a budget. Can you give them, say, like, if there was a college student who really wanted to look like you, can you recommend a way to eat right on a budget? Because that can be hard. Yeah, yeah it can be hard. Um, Because healthy food, a lot of people have this misconception, I call it, that healthy food's expensive. Mm. And while it can be, but if if you weigh up what you're spending on unhealthy foods, it's it's actually not much difference or it might even be the same amount of money. Mm. So buying things like... um, it depends how much you've you know you've got to spend, but um, you can get tin tin tuna, things okay. like that. Like so, f- fish in a tuna. I always yeah. recommend having things fresh. But if you can't afford it, or if you're travelling around, getting tin tuna, getting some salad. You can even get some um, greens, like fresh veggies. Cook mm-hmm. it up, throw it in a container, and take it with you. Because a, a lot of people that are on budgets are like going to college or, or mm-hmm. school or yeah. work, so they've got to take something with them as well. So just taking um, easy things like that with you. So you've got to find your good your protein, mm-hmm. good fat source, and then what's you the have fat lots source here? Veggies. Fat, good fats are like coconut oil, avocado, nuts, oh. um, a little bit of animal fat. So fats that are in salmon is really good. It's your omega threes, which is really good because in um, what we eat these days is a lot of omega sixes. So we need to balance it out with omega threes, and they're all anti aging, antioxidants, anti inflammatory. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of food that you can you can get on a budget, definitely. There are so many different like fad diets out there. Um, <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of the Whole30 diet, but it's like a lifestyle more or less. But is there are there any of them that you've seen out there and you've thought, oh my god, I hope people aren't believing this? You know, I, there's a lot of things good. everywhere. A lot of them is the the weight loss pills. Sure, it, it frustrates me because you can't take a pill and expect that you're going to be healthy. It's not about like with me it's not about weight loss it's mm-hmm. about being healthy mm-hmm. so it's not about counting calories or counting your macros it's about having a lifestyle that you can maintain mm-hmm. so um a calorie like eating <laughs> eating a calorie with um like oh, a burger or something from mcdonald's with a calorie of uh, uh, something that's healthy like vegetables it's not the same thing because yeah. your body does different things with it so it does different things to your body the way it's processed how it uses it is what's important so eating foods that are high in nutrition is is the key so you can eat a lot more food if it's nutritious as opposed to something that's unhealthy there you go yeah. you're benefiting more from your body it processes way. it a lot better and uses it what are five things that you always have in your fridge or pantry five things mm-hmm. uh, like five must-haves in your kitchen Veggies. I don't know if we have the same veggies in Australia. But I like um, green beans, asparagus, zucchini. They're my favourites because mm-hmm. they don't cause any sort of bloating. Sure, right? yeah. Because I get bloating a lot. Yeah. Uh, I like sweet potato. Sweet potato is amazing. Do you call them that here? Yeah. 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 I call them sweet potatoes. Some people call them yams. Yeah. Yams. That's right. They're also my favourite. The Swede, Swedes or something. Hmm? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Do you Uh-oh. have those two? A Swedes. <laughs> yeah. Swedes, I think. S W E D E S. Not I'm sure thinking of Swedish have. fish, which is a candy, okay, maybe which I you don't, don't think have you those. Have. But it's kind of like a, a sweet potato type of thing. Oh, okay. And then I'll have uh, meat. I've eaten a lot of meat and fish. That's mm-hmm. always in the fridge. And some fruit. I love berries. I've always got berries hanging around. And my favorite uh, sort of a, tr- a treat, I call it a bit of a treat, but it's really healthy for you. It's soaked chia seeds Oh yeah. in uh, coconut milk. Mm-hmm. And then I mix in. I might have some, some um, raw 
um, cacao protein powder. I mix that through. You can use cacao or cocoa powder mm -hmm. and then put some stevia in for a sweetener and then put your berries on top. Or you can put a bit, bit of honey as well. So it depends how much you want to be adding. But that's my favorite. That sounds good. Yeah, that's awesome. I wish, we, I like wish this was like a cooking show. I wish we were cooking <laughs> together right now because I'm really hungry. No, it's really good. <laughs> when you soak it, they swell up and they absorb all the, the fluid and they get, they're really good. They coat your, your lining of your stomach. Oh. It's really good for you, your intestines. Wait, why yeah. do we want things coating our stomach? Oh, it's it's better for absorption of nutrients and oh. it's stopping like sometimes you eat food that's quite harsh on your digestive system and it can sort of make it a bit raw okay. and yeah, it's not not good at all. It's, wow. Like, that's when you get the bloating and the upset tummy and yeah. no, uh, malabsorption as well, malnutrition. Wow, the yeah. more you know. Yes. <laughs> um, can you tell me a little bit about your program? You have one that's just for abs, the 28-day ab shred. So I've I'm got my new one now. So I've yeah. got my fit program, which is, I've got three. So the first one's a total body workout. Yeah. It's phase one. And then I've got phase two, phase two that's out now. And that's um, booty and legs. Okay. So everyone's about the booty these yeah. days. And my next one's core. That's so phase three. Just the core you're working on. Yeah. Well, you're not just, just working the core. But I don't believe <laughs> in just area. spot <laughs> reduction or anything or just working one body part. It's all. It's still all over body workouts. But targeting like it's more specifically for your core or, okay. or the phase two is for your booty and legs and do yeah. you need any equipment to do any of these workouts? you do um there's home workouts and gym workouts but the home workouts is only a few pieces of equipment like swiss ball medicine ball a mat and a couple of dumbbells there's not too much so yeah. it's quite good for people if they can't afford a gym membership it's or they're living like in rural areas where mm -hmm. they can't get to a gym mm -hmm. they've got all the equipment there and then you can work whenever you want you can do a workout yeah, that sounds great it so much easier how long are they? Are they like a half hour, hour? Uh, around 40 minutes. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. I'm it's not one of those people that wants to spend all day in the gym, and I'm sure no. other people don't want to do that either. Yeah, that's you why need you to. need it quick, and, necessary. quick and easy, yes. fast results. Efficient that's what and we effective. <laughs> There's been a lot of um, body shaming going yeah. on, especially on the internet. And you know, there's all these, like, like the term duff. Have you heard of that? A I movie haven't. just came out called Duff. It means duff. Designated ugly fat friend. Oh no, that's and then horrible. but then there's also so there's that end of the spectrum where it's like fat shaming, but then there's other end of the spectrum yep. where it's like skinny shaming, yes. and then there's like the term skinny fat. There's just yep. all of these terms like nothing is ever it's good enough. Not, yeah, no, How's for it, people, and I find um, it happens a lot online because they're the keyboard warriors. You've heard heard of that? The what? <laughs> keyboard warriors. So they're no, sitting at home behind a computer screen typing away, and I just think, and this is what I tell people too that are doing my program, that they're unhappy with themselves. So they wake up every day, they might look in the mirror and they might hate themselves or they hate their life, they're unhappy, they're in an unha unhappy relationship or they don't like their job, whatever it is, they're not happy. Mm -hmm. So they get on the computer and because they're not happy, they try to find something in someone else that's going to make them feel better about themselves to put them down about. So... I see, I see it all the time online and I get it as well. It's anything from manly, too much muscle, mm -hmm. too skinny, mm -hmm. uh, even chubby. I get chubby as well. What? Um, oh my God. Just there. Man face, oh, there's everything like under the sun I've been named. But normally it's too skinny, anorexic, or, or manly. So it's funny. It How do you manly. deal with that? Because being a, someone who's on so much social media, all eyes are on you. Yeah. And you're right, like people have no filter on, on the no. internet. Yeah, How do you see, handle it? I handle it quite well now. If it had have been me years ago, I would have been really upset because I was so insecure with myself. Sure. So that's the thing. If you are if you become confident in yourself and you're happy, it's not that it doesn't hurt you, but you're so much more resilient to it. So you can, you can, you realise why they're doing what they're doing and that it's okay and just to, to not take it on. And it's not yeah. true anyway. But I, I feel sorry for, for the people. I genuinely do. I know that they're not happy and they, they're trying to find a way to make themselves feel better. So they're doing that. I don't respond in any sort of negative way or anything that's on their sort of level. Yeah. I I just say something like nice to them or I hope that you have a you know, nice yeah, day I or, mean, you, or can't you become happy that. or you, you find your happiness in some way or sometimes I'll I'll make a little bit of a like a, a bit of a joke and just something light that doesn't show it doesn't get to me it doesn't put them down either. Yeah. But it, it can be tough and I can see that other people might not deal with it so well, especially younger people. I'm a bit older now, I'm 30, but if for kids that are like in their teens, it's really bad. Online bullying, any, any sort of bullying in any sort of form is is not good and <laughs> people that can't handle it, you can just imagine yeah. what, what they go through. But I'm 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 glad that I 
I can handle it quite yeah. well because I love what I do and I just remember why I do this and that I've got to weigh it up and and it's so worth it so I'll, I'll take it on and I'll handle it yeah thank yep. god there's <laughs> and hopefully people be able like to reach you. them too and right I was gonna say you're the way. inspirational side of yeah. things and thank some god of them have that. actually come around really yes oh have yeah. you heard any like stories that really touched you from people who reached out and done your program or something yeah um, I had a girl who couldn't fall pregnant for for years and she was a bigger girl and she lost a, a lot of fat and became healthy and, and fit and she she fell pregnant. Aww. Yeah. And I had another girl who was underweight, she was bulimic, and she did my program and she took it to a dietitian actually and they said it was um, one of the best like a best a really good program or something. Something was like, oh, that's like cool. that. It was like this is a really good program and that I'd recommend. So I, I was really happy with that. And uh, this girl put on healthy weight so she put on muscle and she became healthy and fit and happy and she was confident in herself and she wrote a beautiful thing to me thanking me for for the program and what it had done for her so things like that yeah it, it just makes everything worth it yeah, yeah. Being the woman people. who had the baby should have named the baby after you <laughs> one of them did no really Someone, uh, they named the baby sky which is my middle name yeah and she emailed me actually i think it's a couple of days ago Saying like thanking me. And oh saying my god! Baby. Yes. You better know, be the godmother amazing. too. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, there's another little sky <laughs> in this world. Um, can you tell me about is there is there anyone whose career you want to emulate? Like I'm sure a lot of people are when you talk to them and tell them what you do, they're probably like, oh, like Jillian Michaels or yep. all the millions of other fitness trainers out there. But is there someone that you really have tried to emulate yourself like with your career? Um, I, I like, um, I've always loved Jamie Eason. I'm not sure if you, you would she's know Australian. who she is. No, she's not. She's American. Oh, oh boy. But I think she's, <laughs> she's just really good with people and takes time out to help people. Yeah. So when I first got into to fitness, I was, um, I was really like nervous going around meeting everyone and I went to a fitness expo and I was just going around to everyone that I was sort of looking up to and everyone that was in fitness magazines because I actually when I first got into fitness I was flicking through a magazine it's called Oxygen and I looked at all the fit amazing fit strong bodies in there and I was like I want to look like that so it was it was a bit of I want to change my life and become healthy and fit and I want to look like that because that's hot yeah totally <laughs> yeah and Jamie Eason was one of those people and I met her and she just oh, she was amazing she spent a lot of time with me talking about exercises and because at the st at that time I wanted to get on the cover of Oxygen magazine I wanted it was like my goal to get on the cover and she was just telling me what exercises to, to do to get there and just spent time with me and I really appreciated that so that's have you gotten on the cover yeah, I did a couple of years ago. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so I got it, and she went and messaged me and congratulated me and said I knew you'd get it. So that was really, really beautiful, and I remember that. And I know, I know what I felt like talking to her and, and how she made me feel and how much she helped me. And I want to be like that for other people too. So yeah, she was a really good influence. That's great. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? It could five be personally years. or career-wise. Anything. Reaching more people. I just want to keep going with what I'm doing teaching people about health and fitness and that it's not about being skinny it's not about comparing yourself with other people it's not about perfection it's about being your best self and and only competing with the previous you mm. so yeah all about becoming your best can you tell everyone listening and watching maybe <laughs> like a of a quick and easy or favorite workout of yours that anybody can do that'll yeah really kick them into gear my favorites anyone who follows me knows this i'm always posting circuit workouts okay so the good thing about them is they're efficient they're effective so you're getting in the gym or you can do them at home anywhere really they're fast they might take 20 to 30 minutes and you just get it done and you can go on and with your day and not spending hours in the gym so i usually pick four different exercises so you might do a squat a lunge, an ab work, I'll do something on the mat, and then I'll do maybe an arm work, so I might do a, a bicep curl with the bar. And then you're going to perform each exercise one after the other as quick as you can. Mm. If you need a bit of a break, you can put the weights down and shake it out and go get back into it. But the idea is to keep your heart rate up and get through the, the exercise as fast as you can. So one after the other, the four different exercises, and then you might do, say, five to ten rounds of that as oh, fast boy. as you can with no rest. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm yeah tired. it's tough. Get it it's, tough. <laughs> it's tough, and you, you're sweating and you're panting, but that's the idea. You, you're getting that heart rate up. You're getting your metabolism firing to get the fat burning effect, and and then when you you walk out there, you're going to burn for the next 24 hours, which is which is awesome. Wow. Because when you're doing a slow cardio workout, you're only burning fat during that time. A little bit after, maybe an hour after you finish, then it 
goes back to normal. When you're doing a high intensity sort of exercise or a workout or or weights, you're going to burn for another 24 hours. So is a slow cardio workout considered just like jogging? Uh, what is slow, what is a slow yeah, considered? slow jog. So okay. anything that's not um, High intensity is high intensity interval training. So you're okay. doing intervals, you're doing short bursts. I see. So you might do like a, a hundred metre sprint, and then you might walk for a hundred, then do another hundred metre sprint. So it's that up and down, yeah. getting that heart rate going, and then having a, a rest phase, and then going at full speed again. And so it's a that rest. burst of energy that keeps yeah. it on. And you're yeah. burning fat for 24 hours. Yes, up to 24 Girl. hours after. I'm as soon as this interview is done, I'm googling <laughs> this program. Yeah, it's, and it's the best. You can spend 20 minutes and get an awesome workout. Even even 10, 15 minutes, you can get, get a great workout that's amazing you don't need to spend all this time if you love doing long cardio sessions go for it it's healthy for you if you want to get outside and go for walks and get in the fresh air and get in the sun that's great it's fantastic you got to do what you want to do with me i just like doing the fast workouts yeah get it done get out quick and dirty (laughs) yes that sounds great. Uh, this sounds like a great program. I'm really excited about it. And I found you on Instagram. Your Instagram is super inspiring. If people aren't following you already, they really should. Thank you. Um, can you tell everybody where they can find your program, where they can find you online, any yes. way to access you? Yes, I'm quite accessible. <laughs> Without your actual house. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, uh, my website's emilysky.com. So it's E-M-I-L-Y-S-K-Y-E.com. Mm-hmm. And my Facebook's, um, you can just search Emily Sky or it's um, facebook.com slash Emily Sky model because I used to do fitness modeling and for many years. And my Instagram's Emily, Emily Sky Fit. So it's Love got it. fit at the end. Twitter's Miss Emily Sky. Yeah, there's a few there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. This was a pleasure. I'm very inspired. I hope I wake up in the morning with your abs. Fingers crossed. I'm going to do some after this. Absolutely. We're actually going to go do squats (laughs) immediately. Oh, perfect. Dreams do come true. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to wear this dress while we work out. It'll Mm. be great. Um, Once again, wonderful to have you here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can follow me on Twitter at the Kylie. Bye. Bye. Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. There's two types of sugars, there's glucose and